Yes, you this are. This is kind of how the first game started. Like, yeah. I played a little bit of uh, the first Bioshock. It's yeah. fucking... It's weird. Mm -hmm. And this is how you started going through, like... I mean, you're the, listening. the first one, the first Bioshock was that little girl, and there was that big, the big the daddies bar. and the yeah. little and the sisters. I think they were called or something like that. So yeah, a yeah, big swing band. Be the big daddies and little sisters, you know. But I guess you know this all takes place in the same universe. This place still exists. I mean, it was just run down as it was when you first start Bioshock. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. But now she teleported us to the bottom of the ocean to have us go to the top. Back oh. to the. Look at that. That is how you of doors. went down. Yeah, you went into this thing. Opening all at once. These oh are God. stars. So the stars are all the doors. The stars. Oh, now we're getting weird. This game. It's not making any sense. No, I mean. Come on. Like Tell I said, we way. had a, a set, you know, kind of set story to begin the game with, you know. This whole place was a horribly racist, you know, utopia, I guess you want to call it. I mean, utopia is the wrong word, yeah. but that's what it was. It's no good. And all of a sudden, now we're just like, look at the stars, they're all we doors. Ooh, yeah. That does look pretty. It. Wait, go back, do a slow pan of it. What is that? It's a key. Wait, hold on, hold on, do it again. I'll make this cool. Wait, we gotta wait for the sound. Story. That is not the sound I would have made. With. <laughs> you should have went like, oh, oh yeah. or even the ET noise when you know they're going over the moon. But I don't know. You didn't like my sign. And now she teleported. What? Not stars. Yeah, Christ. Here we go. They're doors. Doors to to everywhere. Ah. Oh. What's left is the So I guess bubble universes exists. Oh boy. The ocean is filled with Bioshocks. What are all these lighthouses? Why are we. Who are and this, this, okay. Wait, wait, hold on. I, I want to read. We gotta read this. Yeah. All similar. Constants and variables. What? There's always a lighthouse. There's always a man. There's always a city. How do you know this? I can see them through the doors. You. Me, Columbia, Songbird. But sometimes, something's different. Yet the same. Constants and variables. Yes. So alternate realities. She's mentioned this a couple of times mm -hmm. before. You know, there's going to be a different thing here or there. You know, like I said before, our knees bend backwards in one thing. You know, gravity doesn't exist. It's a sandwich we eat every day for lunch. You know? Multiverse. Yeah, maybe that's what all of these are supposed to be. Okay. Just There's a just infinite amount. Infinite doorways. Yep. Well, that's just the theory of it. And somehow she can create walkways between them. Amen. I don't know how metaphysical we're getting. Do I go this way and it just comes up? What if I go this way? Will it come up? Yeah. So, does she oh, control boy. it or do I control it? You, you kind of... Which one am I going to go to? Oh, boy. Paralyzing choice. <laughs> I know that's oh. probably going to mean the same thing regardless where I go. So, um, does choice matter? Eeny, meeny. My Nemo. Oh, I'll go this way. Catch a tiger. By the toe. I guess you can go that route. Well, otherwise we can't be on YouTube anymore. <laughs> so I guess there's no choice because it's going to be the same no matter what way we went. They just gave us the option. Can I keep going this way? You can keep going. I'm going to see. No. Nope. So all is right. the universe water, or is this all just symbolism? It's dark matter. She's gonna open the door, and it's just gonna be either what we just saw again. Whoa. Yeah, it's just a different. Look, it's us. Not exactly. We swim in different oceans, but land on the same shore. But it always starts with a lighthouse. I, I don't understand. We don't need to. Well, we don't understand either. All the same. Why? Because it does. Because it has. Because it will. There are so many choices. They They're not choices. Started. No one tells me where to go. <laughs> Booker, I've already been. So there's no choice ever, Evo. I'm not controlling this anymore. I've been told to control it this way. Nothing I do is going to change the fact that I was going to go this way regardless. 
just it, like that group over there was going to keep watching so it was lighthouse. predestined that's i guess what they're getting to is predestination you know determinism your i was always meant to has a, we're always meant to have this conversation yep in this universe maybe in another universe these guys are having conversations about us playing our game maybe we're a game a boring game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it boring. It's just, you know, they're they're trying to explain, you know, the the you know, really abstract and weird concepts. I know this place. I was here it must have been twenty years ago, right, right after wounded me. I was looking for answers. Nice. Come on now, time's a waste. Why were you here? After wounded knee, you probably ready to have your past erased. Are you ready to have your sins cleansed? Yeah. Are you ready to be born again? Take my hand. Probably that shit that happened at wounded knee. No, I don't want to. You Fucked him up and he was trying to looking for answers. And he mm. came here. So I guess this is closing the loop. You know, I was looking for answers. I come back for the answer. It comes back to this point and I forget everything that happened. It's like that little flash stick in Men in Black. Yeah. Maybe that's what this is. Uh. Because uh, remember how this is how the game started. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Okay. So I guess the loop is closing. Are it's you just. Ready to be born again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you hate your sins? I do. Do you hate your wickedness? Yes. Do you want to clean the slate, leave behind all you were before, and be born again in the blood of yes. the Lamb? Jesus, wash this man clean. Wait. Father, make him Stop born it. again. Lord, S Stop it. What no. are you doing? Do Get off me. Get off. Son. You didn't go through with that. You think a dunk in the river is going to change the things I've done? Let's get out of here. I mean, look, these doors of yours, they're, they're all tears, right? We'll open one up. Open one up to Paris. I want to be shut of all this. Not until we find Comstock. Comstock's dead. No. He was here. This way. There's a thing with these games when they get super weird where, you know, it is an artistic choice to explain it the way they're doing it now. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the interviews they had with the guy who created this game was he intentionally made the ending this way. Well, of course they made it intentional because they designed it this way. You know, they they wanted you to come up with your own answer for this. And what of my debts? Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes. The girl for the debt. Open the door. I mean, is this a choice? Open the door. Wait, what's this on the... Uh, it's just your military. If I... Uh oh, is there's she, a baby. Is she the kid? Wait, wait, no, this is wrong. What is this? There was no... No baby. Is she the baby? Uh, Are you the? No, there was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker, you don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. Okay. Now I get it. He had a debt to repay, you know, in the idea of maybe he's running this private. You know, private eye thing. He's not making a bunch of money. The only way to get rid of all of his debt and to make him, you know, out of whatever trouble he's in, yeah, is if he gave his kid away. Oh. So, you know, give us the girl, wipe away the debt. Something really fucking nasty must have happened if you know you're willing to give your kid up. Assuming this is your kid, right? As he said, give us the kid. No. You can wait and as wipe long away as the you debt. Want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. How do you know all this? I can see all the doors. And what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them, I see him. Comstock. Just one of them? Wait, is he Comstock? Mm. No, he's Lutes. So, in order to see Comstock, I have to do this? What choice do I have? The debt's paid. Mr. Comstock washes you up on your seat. Oh, Comstock was fucking gangster or something? Open the door. Ah, okay. So I guess maybe in the world, whatever world we were in, Comstock was a religious dude. 
Maybe in this world, Comstock's a loan shark or something. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. There was no baby. The deal was I go to Columbia to get you. In this world, you did, okay. but in a different world, you were a baby. Oh. Remember what I remember. Now we've upset him. I don't expect this next bit to do much for his mood. Come on. Okay. I don't know. I want to keep jumping to conclusions here, but what are we doing? Or assumptions? Comstock's dead. We can just yeah. Let's just wait. Go on with our lives. You don't need dead? to. You mean like Chen Li, like Lady Comstock? No. Yeah. He is alive universes. in a million, million worlds. It's not over because the prophet is dead. It will only be over. And he never even lived in the first place. So is he the one who was tied up in the chair? Stop asking I questions. I can't. I have to. I ha It's just. It's just, just how I. How I do this. Hey. Hey, the deal is off. You hear me? The deal is off. We'll get him. Give her back. Give her back. Fine. Are you mad? You gonna throw a baby through a hole? Grab it. to pay off some sort of debt. Anna. Anna. No. No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Now go get hammered again. Anna, I'm sorry. Hmm. Open the door. But there's still... Yeah. Anna's gone. Look at her. Anna's gone. Okay. This room that was her name. Uh, Anna DeWitt. Yeah. yeah. Until one day, a man came to you and offered you a chance for redemption. A chance for us to bring it together. Uh, it's starting to come together, I guess. Yeah. Starting to make sense. I told you it was. We already know it works. The question is, will he? You suppose he branded himself as some sort of penance? Hmm. Don't see the point. What's done is done. What's done will be done. I suppose the brand is his hair shirt, as he is ours. See, he's starting to put his story together. You're quite fond of this theory of yours. He's manufacturing new memories. And they're just staging the boat. The brain adapts. I should know. I lived it. Booker, wake up. Booker, wake up. This is where it started. I sold you. I sold you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. <laughs> this is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back? Killed him before he did any of this. Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born. And I'll smother this son of a bitch in his crib. It's pretty it's harsh. Pretty brutal. <laughs> yeah. It didn't work with Hitler. Maybe Comstock's Hitler. So now the game starts again. Because that's, the last that's, plan, a, that's a good question. The actually. last plan didn't work, so now we're doing it again. Yeah. Hmm. So, say somebody put you back in time. If that was the case, that somebody went back in time to kill somebody, I think we would have heard about it by now, because I'm sure Hitler would have had a bunch of speeches. It was like, when I was a kid, thousands of random people just came up and wanted to kill me. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was just, you know, playing ball, and they said... Die, you son of a bitch. I'm just a little kid. 
Yeah, I don't know any better. This is what you want. I have to. So if you were sent back in time, and you knew if what would happen if you know you don't kill him, would you kill him as a? But you had to do it at kill him as a newborn or a little baby. Could you do it? Why are we back here? But then I would just be known as some random baby murderer, and no one would know why I killed him. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, you're not. Who are you? You chose to walk away, but in other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism. You were born again as a different man. Oh, it all has to end. To have never started. Not just in this world, but in all of ours. Smother him in the crab. Smother. 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 Before the choice is made. Before you are reborn. And what name shall you take, my son? He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. I'm both. Wait, was that Comstock's first name? So in order to actually fix all of this, I had to kill myself. Oh. Because the only way that, you know, this kid was kept getting sent to Comstock was because I was alive. Right. You kill the fucking loop before it starts, so you're not saving anybody because you're never going to exist in the first place. Right. Because, see, they're disappearing now. Yep. Because... You're dead. You never created. Yeah, I. You none of this could have happened if yeah. I never existed in the first place. So we've just spent twenty. How many hours? And all we had to do was just kill ourselves. And right when we were in the boat, and we're like, "Get the girl." No, bang, and just credit roll. All right. So. <laughs> so maybe like a lot of the questions I had, you know, I had some stuff written up. Some of the stuff actually has kind of gotten answered now. Yeah. Okay. I give it... I mean, it makes sense. I don't know. It, it was kind of like, you did all this for nothing, basically. I mean, but then did I? Yeah, I guess you had to go through This is it. that stupid thing with fate. Yeah. And, and, you know, you know, were things predetermined? Um, the only way to fix this issue is to never have it happen in the first place. So, if it never happened in the first place, everything I did never happened. Right. So, like, the last however many hours we played this game never existed in the first place. But the only way we can get to that point... Is by playing this for 20 hours. Yeah. Or whatever. It's probably been, like, 13, 15 at the most. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So, we got a little bit of time. I want to talk a little bit while the credits go. Okay. So, what did you think? I liked it. It was, um... The gameplay, I mean, it was fun. It got a little repetitive. Samey, you know? I guess. I mean, I understand in the last game we played with Uncharted, you know, I, I said a lot oh, of times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're in a big open area, we're going to shoot again. I mean, right. maybe when you were playing it, you probably didn't think that at the time, because you were just like, fucking shoot things. And... Yeah, yeah. But, but you know, now if you I... notice it a little bit, even when you're playing it. Yeah, but, the, but you know, when that game came out, compared to when this game came out, they added a few more things to at least break up the gameplay. You know, you had the rail thing to go sliding around. You could right. have to summon in cover. You could use, you know, you, get, you could use a lot of guns in Uncharted too. But, um, I mean, it just shows that general progression. There were still regenerative shields, which I feel, I don't know if they did completely explain why I was the only one who had a shield and no one else in the game did. I may not they never really explained it. Oh, and this I remember someone kind of spoiled me on it. This is a Beach Boys song. Oh, it is? God Only Knows, or something like that. And in this game, when we first saw it, it was in the beginning of the game, it was an acapella group on a floating ship, you know, years before it actually happened. Oh, okay. But I don't know if that was an Easter egg of any, like, hint to let you know how the world's set up if... We only got to 1912, and we killed ourselves. So we were never able to get to the Beach Boys. Well, actually... Did you kill yourself, or did Elizabeth kill it, or the multiple? Well, Elizabeths? if we get, if we, if we look at the point of after I died, everyone else died. Right, but they killed you. you didn't I mean, kill I was gonna drown myself. They just helped. Hmm. Now I want to think about did what we did. It had to get to that point the first time somehow, or. 
was it all? It's that whole you know universe. Is it a yeah? Th- there's a. It's a. It's a really. It's I a like, big mind fuck. A little yeah, bit. I, li- I like how they, how they come up with this shit of you know. Yeah, you really have to like sit down and you know like put it together. Yeah, I mean you know they did that whole cryptic language thing of you know it's not the when the who but you already did it to when the how you know instead of you know plainly speaking it out they were just using that weird uh it's hard for us to like as humans to grasp you know like multiverse and time travel and all that well the problem is we just haven't the only way we could you know understand we have to experience it in the only three dimensions we know how to experience shit in right Unless you count time as an experience or a dimension. I don't know if you really do. I don't know. It's just a byproduct of the other ones because you can experience everything in the world. It's just... Uh, Astrophysicists? Yeah, I don't know if that's an astrophysics thing to talk about time as a dimension. Because they only talk about, you know, time in space. I mean, maybe shit that happens in other, you know, facets of science can be explained in their own world. They just never really think about it. Maybe entomologists can figure out how to explain time. They just never thought about it. I don't know. It's trippy, bro. This whole thing has been trippy. It's, it's, again, it's weird how the whole start of the game was just all about we're on this weird journey, weird racist island floating in the sky. Yeah, yeah. And somehow that, and I never heard shiny happy people. That's an REM song. Tainted love. I, maybe we heard that for like a split second oh, when, when we went the tours. Went through the, 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 the tours, the tears, tears. Yeah, one yeah. different times. Hmm. I don't write. I don't know what any of these other ones are. Scott Joplin. Solace. I, I think Scott Joplin was just the guy who did the original music for this, except for Chopin. I don't unless they went back in time in a time loop. Back into time. Back in time. Oh, it's getting really hot in this room. Yes. Yeah, so one last thing to talk about, because, <laughs> you know, we got to at least get through the rest of the credits here. Okay. Um, talk away. Yeah, so... Oh, I slammed this thing on the table. Gunplay was fun. It was weird how the beginning of the game had all the storyline, the, the the you know juice that I drank to make my hands go weird, and then right at the end, oh, we're gonna dump the rest on them because I guess we didn't think about how to put the rest in there. I mean, that's the thing that can happen with games too, of just like uh, crunch time. We kind of want all this stuff in here, but we got no way of getting it in here. Like I was doing some reading for uh, some of the stuff they cut. Like there was a whole section that was supposed to be like some real morbid toys. That were, there's a whole section of fighting like toy soldier stuff. When we fought her mom that was a ghost raising yep. things, that yep, was yep. actually supposed to be like a repeti- repeating monster thing we had to fight throughout the entire game. The, uh, that would have sucked. Yeah. I, I'm glad they decided to go this route. Yeah. I mean, I think the, it was, you know. That, even what you, like. Fighting that giant gorilla thing, you know, they had to have their own uh, big daddy in this game. And I guess it was going to be him. It's just. It was real weird to try to fight him because I couldn't get close because the camera shook and my fucking guy was just flailing all over the place. And, and then they you and, and they put the yeah my shield was instantly gone the second he hit me so I was like I'm not supposed to be near him. Right. And then they put like the rail thing every time every room I fought that thing it was one of those rail. They had a things. rail, yeah. So I'm just like okay I'll put these two things together and it just took way too long. Yeah. I mean maybe use a different gun than I did. I tried the rocket launcher that one time and didn't really, you know, I thought maybe one or two shots would have destroyed one of the mechanical presidents. It didn't. Mm-hmm. No. And you got only two shots where you got to sit there and reload it. And it's just, it yeah. doesn't take enough time. I think maybe there's a couple of things you can cut in this game. You know, like maybe one RPG would blow up one of those. But then that would be overpowered. Yeah, but maybe not give... A lot of ammo for that. I don't know. I'm just you yeah. Know, these are just, things that they had to think it, about. It would have cut this game down maybe by a couple hours. You yeah, know? and that would have been even better, I think. Yeah, maybe. So this actually ended up being the last game that this Irrational Studios actually put out. They broke up at look well, broke up. They I don't know if they closed shop. Either closed shop, got let go, 
or uh, just Ken Levine, who was the head of Irrational Games. He ended up, I think he actually was like, I'm kind of done making these games. So he ended up closing shop, and I think he uh, opened up a smaller uh, game company with a few people. I don't remember if they actually put any other games out. But, um... But the Bioshock. But all they've done so far is they remastered the first one, like, late last year. Well, you can buy the trilogy, and then all of them are remastered. Yeah, I mean, I they're... Uh, they, didn't, they didn't remaster this, because they came... They did one and two. They didn't remaster okay. three, because I guess it was too close. Oh, okay. Um... Well, I know you can get it for like the con, you know, PlayStation or Xbox. Mm, probably. And you buy like the. Oh yeah, because when I when I had the uh, original Bioshock on Steam here, I was able to just go ahead and download the uh, remastered for free. So. Well, uh, I think we've tried to stretch out the credits long enough. Is there anything you want to talk about uh, mm. coming up, or you want that to be a surprise? Um, no, we can talk about it. All right, so, you know, we're doing the same thing of Evo plays a game, then I play a game, so, so now I'm we're going back to Evo, and what yes. is Evo going to play next? Uh, I think we're going to do the season one of Hitman. <laughs> Which is funny, coming straight off the heels of IO Interactive getting fucking, well, getting shitted off of Square Enix, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right, like, probably right before they were going to make an announcement for, uh... What is this? Oh, this we're gonna... is, that is this blooper time? Oh, yeah. uh, they came at the, right before they were probably going to announce uh, the second season of Hitman, you know, at E3. Yep. They got rid of them because Square Enix has got really weird, um, I guess, parameters for when games come out to make enough money. I mean, the when they, when they put it out as, you know, episodic form... Mm-hmm. It actually made sense for the game, but for some reason, you know, it probably didn't come out to as many sales as probably they were hoping for. And they probably put way too much hope into thinking that this game was going to make way more money than it did. And then they were like, yeah, I guess we're done with this. Well, what's nice about the uh, Season 1 of Hitman is, like, I don't think we're going to play it, like, straight through. No, we, we had a plan for that. Of we're going we're gonna to mix up a few things, you know, try shit out. Like we said, you know, we're yeah. learning as we go. Because, um, I mean, each episode or each... Yeah, each episode... It epi- could easily be done in ten minutes and it could take two hours. Right, right, but want. it's its own little... World. World, yeah, like, so we don't... You know, if we can do... If we one week we do that, maybe one week we do some In one week game. it'll be something else, but, yeah. you know, the next thing we're going to be playing is going to be... Hitman, yeah. Hitman, so... Um, probably going to try to time this to when this is coming out, but of course, all these people who probably never heard of this game before it came out was like, put my name in the credits, I want to be there as, <laughs> yes, I, John Chonawack, I, you know, I'm important, put me in a game, I need my name on everything. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Um, another thing is, uh, check us out on Twitch. Yeah, we, we did, do we live stream. Uh, well, well, I'll probably remember to put that in the description below for our Twitch channel. Yeah, that's I'm right now streaming some idea. stuff. Uh, still testing shit out. Yeah. Um, well, we'll do um, like I'll stream one day, what random day or something, and Greg will stream random day. Yeah, we'll figure it out when this stuff will come up in our state of the state statement for the upcoming month in like two weeks, I think. Yeah, and sometimes we'll stream together. You know, stream against each Ooh. other. But yes. Anyway, thank you everybody for sticking with us, watching this, enjoying it, listening to us prattle on for the past 20 minutes about, is this what it is? Is this it? You know, we're like those annoying people in a movie theater who are just like, does this mean this? And you're just talking to the people next to them and you're just like, yeah. fucking shut up, I just want to watch the movie. <laughs> but, yeah. Alright, thank you everybody. Remember, like, um, comment, let us know what you think. Is there yes. certain things you'd like us to try out? If you enjoy... Our content, give us a like or dislike. I mean, or we, dislike. We got our first dislike a few days ago, and we have that kill yourself comment from a week ago. You know, hey, at least you're talking. Uh, but I'm gonna try to do a professional outro. Okay. I like to do a, do a podcast and everything. Oh yeah. For Hobby Fist and Evo, this has been Greg saying 
Not feet as in. No, I was going to say something that, had, that they said in the game, but I can't remember it now. I'd say, give us the child, wipe away the debt. We want your kids for scientific experiments. I don't know. <laughs> you got to shut me up before I make this any weirder. No. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, let's end it. Yeah, all right. All right, thank you guys. Thanks. And until next time. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. That's your fucking goodbye. <laughs> Fuck you. That is not the sound I would have made with... <laughs>